Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator that is min operator. So we, in the previous video, we have learned about this max operator, right? In the same scenario, it will be the uh, uh, opposite to that one, min operator. So what is this min operator will do is the min operator operates on the observable, that means source observable that emits numbers and it will give you the least value, smallest value. What is the smallest value present in the list of all the values emitted by the source observable? It will give you the least value. That is the min operator. Now the same as the max operator, min operator takes also one comparer function. So that means you can apply the comparer logic, minimum logic for the set of object or arrays or anything. If you have a custom data means you can apply the logic for that one. So comparer. So minus one means it will not take the value. One means it will take the value. Now here if you try to see, here is the, see, is the marble diagram. This is the source observable and this one is emitting the values 42, minus 1 and 3. And out of this one, when it is passed through the min operator, you will be able to see that uh, the least value minus 1 has been came as an output when it passed through the min operator. In this way, so what, what the min operator will do is, min operator will give you the least value, the smallest value out of the list of all the observable, all the values that are present in the source observable. You need to also know, uh, note that, so remember, remember that until the our source observable is completed only then only it will give you the smallest value so in between this one it will not give the smallest value until all the values are emitted then only it will give you the smallest value out of all those numbers so this is the thing you need to remember let's try to see the practical implementation so it's just like maximum operator only it with the same representation you can have with the minimum operator also so let's try to add it so i will complete it out very quickly see the same how the max operator will work in the same scenario min operator also but opposite Instead of giving the large values, it will give you the smallest value. That's it. So let's open this app routing. And in this app routing also, what I will try to do is, I will try to add min. And here I will add min operator component. So min operator component. Yeah. Now let's go to the implementation of this one. Min operator component.ts. And here what I will try to do here, let's have a source dollar is equal to of of i will be adding 1 2 comma 3 comma 100 comma 2000 something like minus 1 minus 10 and something like minus 30 let's assume or otherwise what i will try to do is minus 30 i will keep it in the middle or something way okay so you out of these all the values the minimum value is minus 30 right let's try to see so here i will draw i will write source dot subscribe so let's subscribe to this one and i want to get the minimum value out of these all values right i can do console dot log data and i can add here pipe of min directly i can add this min operator okay that's it now let's try to see the output now if i try to see the output here in this operators let's go to this operators and here min if i apply see we are able to see that minus 30 is the output we are getting so that means minus 30 is the least value that is present in the list of observable now here if you want to apply the comparer function means you can do the same thing so let's assume that we have a persons this is an array and here i will add name as leela and the age as 10 okay and now let's try to copy this one and replicate this one all same in the same scenario how i have added previously for the uh, max operator i will add the same thing for this operator also now here i will add john or something like this and i will add 20. now i want to get the least age from this one so now what i can do here of of persons okay dot subscribe i can do the subscribe here and i can add the data console.log data now i want to apply the minimum operator right so what i can do here i can use this comparer operator so comparer function now here i can use this min and in this comparer what i can do is we will be having a comma b so previous value and current value you will be getting it as a data now here i can check that a dot age if a dot age is less than b dot age okay then return minus one or otherwise return one that's it so we have applied this comparator. So this is the previous person value and this is the current person value. So A, B or X, Y, whatever the value you want, you can do as a parameter. Now if I try to see the output, so what could be the output here? 
so name leela and age 10 so this is the least uh, least age of a person so leela is having the age of smallest age so that is 10 so this is how we can also apply the custom logic so to in order to get the uh, least value from a an object so by using a particular property if you want to check with a particular property the least value means you can use this custom logic also so this is all about this min operator and the max operator so vice versa vice versa you can use it so hope you understood about this min operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you